Our brothers and sisters, Hebrew Israelites scattered all over the globe, 12 tribes of Israel. Greetings and welcome back to this third session. We are going to redo um, this session because um, the last session did not upload properly. And for those of you who are trying to look and that session, or, or to view the session rather, is that you'll see that it's just about um, 45 seconds. And so we have to redo that. In, in um, session two, we did talk about uh, the Ashkenazi people, and we did mention that the Ashkenazi people were um, in Northern and Eastern Europe. I, I, I failed to mention the fact that uh, they were also in Southern Europe. And, and present day, they are all over the world. And a great number of the Ashkenazi people are in the um, United States. Now, um, in part three, Table of Nations, we want to continue with that because uh, one of the, one of the um, one of the the problem or the difficulties that um, most of our people have and people of the world in general, uh, they believe that the way things are, that's the way they always been. But over the years, um, hundreds and thousands of years, um, things change. Uh, you know when the um, Children of Japhet went into Northern Europe at first, and, and, and in, in Southern and Eastern Europe, Central Europe, they're, they're in different places. Uh, some of the people that we talk about today, like the Norwegians, the Danes, the Danish people, the Icelandic people, the Baltic people, and so on, uh, you know, these, these are people that, uh, you know, the Swiss and, you know, those are people that came from Tyrus, um, the, this, one of the sons of, um, of, of Japhet. And uh, his sons were ben Benib and Jera, Luprian, and Gailak. So a lot of the, the places that we, we, we talk about, like Troy, uh, you know, the Trojan people, Tyrus, and so on, Illyprian, um, a lot of these people are, and the people in Tuscany and all those places, they are um, part of the, the sons of Japheth. So they scattered, there were a lot of people, they scattered all over the place, all over the places. So, um, so today we want, to, we want to continue and we want to talk about comedic people. And the comedics, you know, we used to hear the word ham, okay? And uh, they, they are scattered also in Eastern, and Western Africa, Central Africa, and, and um, also in Northern Africa. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Um, the, the sons of Ham was Kush, Egypt, which is Misraim, Foot, which is Libya, Canaan, which is the, the Canaanite people that occupy the land when... Um, or Yahuwah called Ab Abram um, from Ur of the Chaldea uh, into the land. They were there. Um, the son of Cush was Seba, Habila, Sabta, Rama, and Sabtika. The sons of Rama was Sheba, Dedan, and so Cush was the father of Nimrod, also who became the mighty hunter, a mighty warrior on earth. He was 
a mighty hunter before Elohim and before Yahuwah. That is why it is said, like Nimrod, mighty hunter before the Lord. And so these people, they, they grew over a period of time. Um, the, the, the first centers of his kingdom were Babylon, York, Akkad, and um, Kalner in Shinar. From that land, he went to Assyria, where he built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Air, and Kala, and he said, and Raisin, which is between Nineveh and Kala, and that he said that um, was uh, a, a great city. So, um, the, the Jebusites, the Jebusites and the Amorites, all these people were, were descendants. Um, he said, Egypt was the, um, the father of the Ludites, the Anamites, the Lebanites, the, sorry, the, Lehab, the Lehabanites, um, the Neptunites, Patricite, the Castellite, from whom we get the Philistine. Um, if you remember the story, the Philistine and, um, and uh, uh, the giant who fought with David, Goliath. Okay, he came from that, uh, and the capturized, he came from those family. Canaan was the father of Sidon and the firstborn uh, um, of the Hittites. Sidon was uh, the father, it was, it was Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and, uh, and, and also of the Hittites. Right? Um, in in um, Genesis chapter 10, verse 19, he says that and all the borders of Canaan reached from Sidon towards Gerar and as far as Gaza. Um, we, we've been hearing a lot of um, news about the Gaza Strip, you know, uh, and, and all the fighting going on only between the Jews and the, the Palestinian people. You see, and then towards Sodom and Gomorrah, you remember Sodom and Gomorrah where Lot lives. Adma and Zebulun, uh, as far as Lasher. And verse 20 said, these are the sons of Ham by their clans and also language in their territories and their nation. Okay? Now, just a moment. So, come literally meaning uh, uh, hot, burnt, or dark. So we know that he was a dark-skinned um, person, uh, and he said he was the father of, of the, um, the the Mongoloid. Uh, the, the Mongoloid people are those of Mongolia, uh, are the Asian people. I uh, say the Negroid races, the Hamites. He, you know, he was also the progenitor of, 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 of Canaan. Um, so Canaan means don't low sons were Zidon, Heth, Amari. Um, let me say Heth. Heth. Heth is the father. Our, our, we will say that Heth was um, the one that it is taught and believe over the century that he was the one that um, founded Salem that became Jerusalem. Omari and the girl, uh, she, uh, he, the Arki, Seni, Arodi, Zemodi, and the Chamath. Also, Canaanites and the Cana, Chana, Chana, and all those names, you know, um, we say he was also, Canaan was also the father 
of the Mongols, the Chinese people, the Japanese, Asian, Malaysian, Amerindians, Eskimo, Polynesians, you know, um, and the Pacific Islanders related, un unrelated groups. Um, Kush means black, and also his sons were Siba Habila, Sabta Rama, Sateka, also Chus, Kush, Kosh, the Nubian, Ethiopian, Sudanese, the Gehanians, also uh, the Africans, Bushmen, Pygmies, Australian Aborigines, the Guineans, and other related group. Mizraim, which is Egypt, double traits, his sons were Lord Amman, Patros, um, Chasloth, Chapter, also Mizraim, Miss, Mitzraim, the Mitzraite, you know, the Egyptian cups and, and so on. And um, Foot, Abou, his son were Gabal, Haddon, uh, Bena, Ada, Putaya, um, Punt, Puta, Put, Libya, Libyans, the Cyrenians, if you remember. They said when Yeshua was uh, under the heavy load of the cross that they built for him, uh, from the tree, that uh, it was a Cyrenian man that helped him build that. The Tunisians, the Berbers, the Somalians, uh, North Africa, and other related group. So the tribes of other, um, in other parts of Africa, like in Arabia and Asia, Aboriginal group of Australian, Native, Pacific Islanders, American Indians, we, we call them American Indians, I like to call them Native American, the Eskimos, um, you know, all of these were birthed from the descendants of Canaan, Cush, Mizraim, and Foot. Um, so we, we're going to come to, to, we're going to talk about the, the um, Shemitic people, okay? And um, the Shemitic people, we will say that this was from where our ancestors come, okay, through Abraham. Um, in, in, in Genesis chapter 10, verses 21 through 31, and um, in Genesis 11, 10 through 27, and First Chronicles 1, 17 to 27, he, he tells us about um, the children of, 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 of Noah, including Shem, right? And so sons were also born to Shem, whose older brother was Japheth. Shem was the ancestors uh, and the sons of, of, all, of all the sons of Eber. So the sons of Shem, Elam, Ashur, um, Arphaxad, Lod, and um, Aram, the sons of Aram, Oz. Um, if you remember the story with, uh, with, with uh, Job, he was from the land of Oz. Uh, we're going to stop here for a moment and then come back in the next session, but please do not forget to like this um, session and also subscribe. May Yahuwah bless you and keep you until we meet again in the next session. Shalom.